Hello. Gotta mind your hands. On this week's episode of Gig Van Rig, Gareth attempts to insulate the ceiling. This is definitely not a how-to video, just us trying our best to make our horse box daisy as watertight as possible. The expanding foam had dried, so I trimmed it back, trimmed it down, so we can get the insulation board in between the little rafters there. What I realised is that we probably only need one batten there for the cupboard, so it should be good. So we're pretty, pretty, pretty much ready for the insulation to go up. Because we have our stick pins now. Stick pins came Catherine's, Catherine's birthday. Catherine's birthday, she got some stick pins. What every woman wants on her birthday. And some Raptor. Raptor! <laughs> I did good. <laughs> Part of my birthday present was sticky pins. So these, you take the white bit off, you stick it to the metal, and then you put the insulation board through the spike. Hello. Hello. Right, so we're at the stage where we're going to put the insulation, the 50 mil PIR board Salatex insulation up. And uh, we're going to use a couple of sticky pins, which Catherine got for her birthday. <laughs> What a birthday present. So we're going to use those to keep this as close to the aluminium as possible to try and limit the amount of condensation. This condensation is bad in a van. So don't do it. Or do this. Or maybe not. But if anybody's got any better ideas, let us know. Are you telling, are you telling me not to breathe? Don't breathe. <gasps> Breathing's good though. Breathing's good. Breathing's good, people. Keep breathing. So I think roughly about there. Because look at that. This is an off cut we had. And it's the right size. It's dead on the right size. Look at that. It's really cool. Well it's not dead on. Probably needs to be cut down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like not dead, dead on. on but not dead on. Yeah, it's not dead on. It's like Catherine measures in fingers. So it's about that much off. Yeah. Not that much off. No, maybe that. Yeah. There we go. So yes, we're going to do that. I think what I'll do first is I'll measure here. I'll put it up where it's meant to go, hopefully. And then I'm going to measure there, which is where the batten is. And then this bit, not too sure we're going to do with that. So uh, instead of trying to carve this out, we're going to put the insulation up to there. And then in this space here, we're going to use fluff and stuff, possibly. Or spray foam? Or some spray foam. We'll see what's the best. Probably spray foam pretty much. So we'll use spray foam. Making up as we go along. So we're gonna go bang on 11 inches. So that, on this side, gonna be bang on 11 inches. Oh, measure five times, three at once. I think that's gonna be good enough. Okay, get some trestles. Let's get the trestles. Oh. oh, I see a line there. That one. There it is. There's one. I need our trusty stick. Have you lost your trusty stick? It's actually a really good job Gareth lost his stick and had to replace it with um, a thinner piece of wood because he tries to knock me off the ladder. <laughs> This is already our blunt saw, so we're going to use it. So yes, just top tip, if you're going to cut insulation board with a saw, it blunts it. So when you buy another one, don't use that one. Use the one you've already used for insulation. Just a sliver in. <laughs> You're a wizard, are you? Does she fit? Does she fit? Yes, Does she fits. It's not fitting there. So now, I'm going to cut. 
A little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, it's going to be a tight fit. I think slivering. Definitely this side. Right there. Right, that's tight. That's less tight. Still tight in the corner. I think that'll be tidy. So, stick pins. I'm going to key the aluminium where the stick pins are going to stick to, just to make sure we get a good stick. Stick pins, I've got an adhesive backing. Simple as that. Cool. Where the pins are. That's one pin. That's two pins. It's our first pin of insulation. Woohoo! We're going to take our time doing this because what we're trying to do is eliminate any, as many gaps as possible. Gaps where condensation can can basically occur so we don't want any condensation or limited amount of condensation as possible as everybody else knows from the from it. Uh, come this way I think. Oh <laughs> too much there. <laughs> It expands 25 times in size apparently, but be very careful. We don't use too much. But when it comes out, especially in small gaps, it's like... <laughs> so all you can do is squirt, squirt, squirt. I'm not sure that's how you put insulation board in, Gareth. Don't think it is, but I thought that was the way to do it. Is that another way to do it? No. It's a good test of see if it fits in. <laughs> <laughs> nice and tight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. It's going my start now. Oh, that's nice.
safety goggles on. Yeah. Um, this is a horse box. Mm -hmm. It's fine to be a horse box. 